Hi everybody, it's your girl Bunny. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Queen Sugar, Season 4, Episode 6. <laughs> So in the opening scene, we see that Nova and her past lover, Octavia, they are waking up to each other in the bed and they're reading the paper and drinking coffee. And Nova is expressing to her that she's excited about the book. And Octavia is telling her that she's excited about going with her, which Nova thinks is a little strange, but she gets a call and she gets a call that's exciting for a writer that her book is being shortlisted. So for those of you that don't know what shortlisted is, it's when your book is being reviewed for possible awards, Pulitzers, used as political reference books. They can also be awarded from schools, etc. So really big news as a writer. So as Octavia gives her a hug, she gives the old deceitful look behind the back and we can just see and read all of the jealousy and envy through this hug and we already know where this is going. The next scene cuts to Charlie and she's actually at her suite preparing for her political run for a city council and she has family there and they're getting ready and they're uh, making posters and they're getting volunteers together for her to run as they have everybody there prosper he sees a past uh, lady who he used to know back in the day and they start to shake hands and everybody in the room Micah and Charlie they kind of look at them like do we need to give y'all a moment let's let's move out the way so as they move out of the way Charlie expresses to her new boo I forgot his name but she expresses to her new boo that she's excited and she's looking forward to this and he tells her well you need to get involved with all of the communities you need to make sure that you reach out and Charlie kind of gives that nudge that she's willing to do anything possible so she can win because it's so important for her to get that vote so they don't build that highway going through black farmers property foreshadowing that I will do anything by any means necessary, but in a sneaky way, foreshadowing to where I think Charlie will do something in the future that she'll regret, but she's going to end up getting what she wants. A lot of foreshadowing with that. We then have Hollywood and Violet. They're in bed and Violet is still crippled with depression. She can barely get out of the bed. He's expressing to her, I usually lag back. You're usually up before me and you get me out of the bed. Now I'm up before you and you can barely get up. What is going on? Please tell me. At this point as a viewer, I'm getting upset because I'm like, Violet, girl, here you have this wonderful husband and you're not including him on how you're feeling. It seems like you're being very secretive that you've suffered some trauma from seeing your ex-husband and you don't want to express that and you're kind of just excluding him and you're staying uh, to yourself. You are setting him up, girl. You are setting him up to become distant and not communicate with him. Everybody has a breaking point, and I really think Violet is pushing him towards that. He loves her a lot, but he's just really, I mean, he's hes going to get frustrated eventually. So then we see uh, Ralph Angel, Darla, and Blue. They're all sitting in their living room, and they're speaking with either a counselor or a psychologist. They're getting family counseling, which is great because of course, um, Blue has received the news that Ralph Angel is not his biological father. So they wanna make sure that he's ingesting and understanding what is going on because he's kind of shut down and he's a little bit more quiet than usual. So they wanna make sure that he's okay. So the psychologist or the counselor, she basically says that children, and everybody else who receives just really traumatic news or just something that shifts their lifestyle she lets them know that after speaking with him he seems okay he's uh, he understands but he's going to need time to deal or to cope or to live with this new news it won't happen overnight you have to be patient she then tells ralph angel and darla that to take a notepad and write down what the future holds for Blue and how they're gonna plan for that and what are some things that they look forward to. 
foreshadowing, I really think they are setting up Ralph, Angel, and Darla to spark their love flames again because they're coming together as a family in this really rough patch and even though they're both dating other people or I guess you could say talking to other people I think it's just a temporary crutch crutch and I really think that they are still in love with each other they're just very very hurt but it seems as if they're shifting to understand that they're working as a family they're getting through the tough times and now that the cat is out the bag about the bi biology and the, bi the, the excuse me about the paternity of blue and all of the secrets are out per se it seems like they're working together and they're getting through it I think this is foreshadowing that they may get back together and I don't think the family is gonna like that too much we then see violet she's on the phone with her doctor and she's telling her doctor you know what do my tests read? I know I took some tests a week ago or whatever, and what do they read? And the doctor is telling her, hey, what's going on? Your test results are not correlating um, with your lupus, so there has to be something else going on. Are you stressed? Did you suffer anything traumatic? You're saying you're not sleeping. You say you're not, you're, you're saying that you're not feeling well. You are expressing that your sex drive and interest is different has anything happened so she then expresses to her doctor which is a big duh moment that she has suffered some emotional trauma seeing her ex-husband again and that she needs some help because it's affecting her marriage and it's affecting her life no duh i was just waiting on violet i'm like girl what took you so long because it just frustrated me so much that she was just just such a void for Hollywood. I, I could just, I could see it coming. I know it's happening. She, she's gonna push Hollywood away because there's only so much he can take. There are some other details that happen within the episode, but I don't think that are that critical. But one thing that is critical is that Nova and Octavia, later in the episode, they go to this event where they can mingle with other writers and professors and just talk and network. And we see that Octavia is trying to mesh herself and Vel Velcro herself onto Nova's success. And many people are showing interest in to Nova working with Nova and she's throwing up walls like oh I don't think that's for her I think I can do it and Nova overhears this and of course she's over it she's done she she realizes that hey she's just around me because she's waiting on her next big break and she's done she's over it her, she's mentally disconnected at this point and she can't believe what she's hearing but I called it I could tell that Octavia especially comments that she made at the book um, session or the book review, she was giving those hints like, do you have that training? Do you have that type of experience? I already knew where Octavia was going. And when I started to see in this episode, I said, yep, she's envious. She's been a writer for a very long time. She's really upset that Nova is, is getting this um this praise for this book with no research just going off of her feelings so she's just really upset I saw this coming later Octavia she finally lets the cat out the bag finally she finally expresses herself that she is jealous and upset and really just pissed off that she pretty much took Nova under her wing and taught her how to write and taught her how to be creative and just opened up that experience as a writer and she really feels like just the rug was just swept from under her and she's upset and pissed off she expressed that hey i've been i've been a writer and a teacher for over 20 years writing these very detailed research oriented books and you write a story basically throwing your family under the bus and here you are getting shortlisted and she just kind of just goes off in a way like, I can't believe this. And Nova giving her distinguished, selfish response as, I've outgrown you. I really appreciate that you showed me these skills and you took me under your wing, but we've outgrown each other. Wow. Wouldn't surprise me that Octavia will really throw some stuff her way and really tell the public some stuff because they've been lovers for some years and they know a lot of dirt about each other so it wouldn't surprise me if Octavia 
popped up with some information for maybe the media or maybe the book world or writer's world because hmm, she's not happy with that. She's still a little pissed off. So they go their separate ways and it's I don't think it's going to do anything but boomerang back to Nova because even though we later find out that clearly she's written in the book about her mishaps and we never knew that nova put in the book that she had an affair with a married man and we didn't think she wrote about herself because we've just been hearing about what she wrote about her family but we didn't hear anything about what she wrote about herself so we got a little sprinkle of detail when she went to the event that she did have an affair with a married man so we at least do know that she put that in the book but of course Throughout this season, a lot of viewers have said that it's not her writing a book telling her faults. It's the fact that she's telling everybody else's fault. And you don't have the authority to tell somebody else's truth. I don't think Nova understands that, that you are putting other people's truths out there. Not only did you not get their permission. But you were so selfish in having a very successful book. You didn't have any ideas of what else to write. You put everybody else's lives in a book. Their secrets, deep root dark secrets. Oh, it's going to come back to you, Nova. It's going to come back. Charlie is at her location with her volunteers. And unfortunately, someone throws a brick through the window and it ends up... Uh, cutting um, her Charlie just a little bit on her neck everybody's kind of rattled and scared about it but she continues to communicate with Pastor Martinez that she wants to be involved with the community and the other side of town I guess that a lot of people don't see as she wants to become more involved she then makes the announcement that she is running and no brick through the window is gonna stop her from doing this okay so these are my side notes so the preview that we see for next Next week is that Nova bumps into her old lover we do have some shady political stuff that's going on we see that Octavia has still has her bitterness everything will come full circle with this political run run as well I think um, that there will be people to bring up the story that Nova told at one of the book releases about her father, which I thought was just so dumb. The story she told about her father, about how she saw him burying something in the ground. I think it will go back to that where somebody, somebody will want to say, hey, we need to go back to this site and bury it and dig up what that is see to see what that is do you think that there are bodies under there or do you think that he was just burying something and it was perceived to be a body what do you what would what do you think if there would actually be bodies and they dig that up wouldn't that be crazy i don't know y'all i don't know but my predictions i really think that violet is pushing hollywood away and ralph angel he always talking like this like he is two miles an hour and he don't it's like Okay, but anywho, those are my predictions. What do you think? Tell me some of your predictions of what you think is going to happen in the next episode and how it will come back. Do you think Nova will get her boomerang tenfold um, in regards to her karma and letting everybody else's cats out the bag? Do you think Charlie would be successful in the run? Do you think Micah and his girlfriend will break up because she did seem like she was pretty much over it and didn't want to be with Micah anymore? What do you think? Put your predictions down low. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And follow me on Instagram, same profile name, official bun underscore E. Love you.